Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor Nation Today Update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Gary Turner, the Golden Bachelor, might knock boots in the fantasy suites. This week, Golden Bachelor Jerry Turner will embark on dream suite dates, and many are still curious about his approach. Fans of the classic Bachelor and Bachelorette seasons are probably aware of what happens when the cameras stop. While some attempt to keep it a secret, others acknowledge it. But what on earth does 72-year-old Jerry anticipate the evening will hold behind closed doors? Continue reading to learn more. The Golden Bachelor's trailer for Thursday's show shows Jerry Turner getting ready for his overnight dates with Leslie Fema and Theresa Nist. The true concern among all of us is whether or not something tangible could occur once the cameras turn in for the evening. Jerry claims in the teaser that everyone is curious about what transpires in these fantastical apartments. He continued by saying that although he enjoys pillow chat, many of his age still knock boots. Leslie questions him about his most recent intimate relationship with a lady in a different clip. His response is not disclosed in the teaser. According to The Sun, Jerry's close friends think he's prepared to go all the way. Indeed, according to an unnamed pal, Jerry loves to party. He's not dead, exclaimed the friend. He'll act in accordance with his moral convictions. It's less about a physical relationship and more about an emotional one. He doesn't engage in gaming. The acquaintance further disclosed that Jerry Turner has an open mind and can detect whether a woman is the right one by looking into her eyes. According to Heather, another acquaintance, Jerry is looking for someone who is very gregarious and focused on his family. Someone who is willing to travel with him is needed. She ought to adore the water too. And she has to love the water, she exclaimed. If he moved here, or had the wife move here, I believe it. Whichever way it turns out, that will determine the outcome. He wouldn't be restricted to moving, in my opinion. Regarding Jerry's impending fantasy suite dates, what are your thoughts? Is he going to knock boots with Theresa or Leslie? On Thursday night, fans won't want to miss what happens behind closed doors. Regarding Jerry's impending fantasy suite dates, what are your thoughts? Is he going to knock boots with Theresa or Leslie? On Thursday night, fans won't want to miss what happens behind closed doors. Kat Izzo, a participant on Bachelor in Paradise, has drawn a lot of criticism for her actions this season. People's perceptions of Kat and the love triangles she's managed to get herself into are still being formed. She first dated Braden Bowers before splitting up with Tanner Cortad. Drama increased when Tanner and Devia went on a date on Kat's birthday. Fans referred to Kat as a hypocrite and the villain of season 9. She moved on from Tanner and Brayden and started chasing John Henry. Fans have been accusing her of taking him from Olivia Lewis, and the criticism has only grown worse. Kat is now requesting peace after missing an apology. Continue reading to learn more. Due to her appearance on Bachelor in Paradise, Kat Izzo has been the target of a lot of criticism. She's been referred to as a hypocrite and the season's villain. Olivia Lewis claimed that Kat had also treated her disrespectfully. Kat posted a statement on Instagram saying that she can no longer handle the vitriol she has been receiving. Kat released two comments in total, but she took one down. Luckily, a screenshot was taken by the Instagram account Baccalaureate Windmill prior to Kat removing it. She acknowledged in the statement that some people may have been triggered by certain items this season. She continued by saying that's pleading for harmony. Because of the hostility, Kat said that the last five weeks have been overwhelming and mentally compromising. She also mentioned that something new happens every hour. With that, Kat said, we are only human. Kat Izzo published another post, which she chose not to remove. She released a message along with four images. It's difficult to be open and vulnerable on reality TV, she remarked. It demonstrates that we make mistakes in life just like everyone else. We are all sincere individuals and I really regret if anything I did on the show offended anyone. Vulnerability, according to Kat, is a strength as well as a challenge. She also acknowledged that they are fallible human beings. She added, our mental health suffers when we share our life with others. This is an appeal for compassion and empathy, not for victims or bad guys, but rather for individuals trying to make sense of their own situations. As we work with our flaws, let's acknowledge our common fragility as humans and promote development, education, and understanding. 
Other Bachelor in Paradise alumni left supportive comments on her article. They were all in agreement with her. Bedridden, IV and arm, what happened to Claire Crawley? Over the weekend, Claire Crawley posted a picture of herself lying in bed with an IV in her arm. What took place? Is the baccalaureate actress all right? Stay tuned for updates. When is the baby of Claire Crawley due? Before landing the lead on season 16 of The Baccalaureate, Claire Crawley made appearances on The Bachelor and twice on Bachelor in Paradise. Her stay there, however, was brief because she left the show engaged to the model and fell in love with competitor Dale Moss right away. Tasia Adams filled in for her early departure to finish the season. Adams and Zach Clark became engaged, but their romance didn't last a year. After leaving the reality program, Crawley and Moss maintained an intermittent relationship before parting ways in September 2021. Benoit Beausejour Sevard from Bachelor Winter Games was her former fiancé. She made her Instagram debut alongside Ryan Dawkins, CEO of Mascot Sports, a year following her breakup with Dale Moss. In October 2022, the couple declared their engagement and four months later, they were married. Crawley made the announcement that they were expecting their first child via surrogacy in July. The daughter of the couple is expected to arrive in January 2024. She doesn't want your parenting guidance, to be clear. Dawkins is the parent of two kids from a prior union. Over the weekend, Claire Crawley shared a snapshot on her Instagram story that alarmed fans about her health. Crawley is confined to her bed and has an IV in her arm in the picture. She rapidly allayed worries, though, by outlining the situation. She remarked, Good old food poisoning did me dirty on the photo. The weekend was spent relaxing with her spouse before to the impending birth of their child in a few months. Former Bachelorette sees the positive side. Claire Crawley is adored by Bachelor Nation followers for her unwavering optimism. Even though she was ill and immobile, she managed to find some positive aspects of the weekend. She posted another picture of the stunning vista outside her window to her Instagram story. Despite the view, she was grateful, writing with a love emoji. In another photo, Crawley cuddles close to her husband, who is seen kissing the top of her head. She wrote, My Baby Daddy, over the endearing scene.